Okay, so this is my brand new studio. I That's why I've been, not been posting it for a very long time. I'm still trying to get it all up and going, but today we are talking about the banks. Are the Canadian banks a good investment right now with how the world is going? As we know, the world is going pretty crazy. There's banks that are going under, and what's really going to happen to the Canadian banks? Because I know to some Americans, they'll think, oh, the Canadian banks are regional and we need to work or worry about them because a lot of the regional banks in the States could be in trouble. But let me give you a quick backstory. But really quickly, that's my green screen. What do you think? Not bad. Anyways, but uh, what do we really need to worry about? Uh, there's not much really that we have to worry about when it comes to the Canadian banks because a lot of the mortgages are insured. Also, uh, when it comes to the Canadian banks, the Canadian government has a lot of regulations on them. However, I know a lot of bankers, I'm not going to say who they are uh, on this video or on my channel, but because I want to give them privacy on on this type of stuff but there's a lot of bankers who i know who are saying that there's gonna be a lot of shit hitting the fan soon so yes we need to worry the, the in toronto um i think it was january usually there's very few foreclosures if any sometimes none uh they had i think it was 27 I'm not too sure if it was total or at this one certain uh bank uh, that uh, one of my friends works for. I'm not too sure if it was just the individual bank itself or uh, in total, but either way, when you're looking at a, a banker that says, man, we usually don't see any foreclosures when it comes to January and now we see 27 in a single month, there's something going on and th there is some cause for concern. However, I'm going to be making a video very soon showing the charts of the actual banks just as an overall view of all of the big six banks in Canada and they're trading within a range and if you're a trader I'm not necessarily a day trader but if you're actually a trader you can actually time this pretty well and sometimes get in at the bottom of the uh, of the of the floor when it comes to the trading within that range you can get in the floor and you can keep on averaging lower where you can hit that floor. It'll pop. Don't buy at the pop. And then it'll come back down, sink back down, buy more because obviously we, some of us work, most of us work jobs and you're not getting paid every single day. You're getting paid maybe twice a month where now we can kind of look at it and say, okay, it's near the top of the range. We're not buying right now, but now it's at the bottom. Okay, time to buy. I, I saved like 10% of my paycheck. Let's, let's start buying some more. And that is how we have to start looking at these Canadian banks, at least at this point in time. That is my thoughts. That is what I am doing right now. I'm buying at those dips because they've bottomed out three times now. So anytime that they've bottomed out three times, it's time to start looking at it and saying, okay, it's trading within a range as long as it pops just a bit above that baseline. And that's not, probably not going to drop. And if it does, then we just average lower. Because as we know, over the past 100 years, the Canadian banks have been doing extremely well. But anyways, that's my green screen. I can close this door and make it a, make it a full green screen. And then i got my green screen. That's kind of messy in here right now. I've got sound tiles going along. I've got... I've got Emmanuel Mabata, watch for him in the NBA. He's one of my one of the players that I train. He's one of the players that I coach. Um, he is one amazing player. This was his first poster dunk, by the way. So, congratulations, Emmanuel. I've got my wooden wall, my green screen. Anyways, more videos coming soon. I hope that you've enjoyed. Uh, is it time to buy the Canadian banks? I would say start slowly getting into them every time it dips in that range. Anyways, hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys again next time.